Of course, uh, we're on with Danny Limelight on the Mark Hoke Show. Of course, the FSW No Limits champ and the United Wrestling Network World Heavyweight Champion. And by the way, the first Latino to win that title. It's been nice. around since uh, 2013. So Danny's stepping in there and doing the job. And uh, Danny, I know before we go to break, I, since we're talking about that, tell everybody a little bit about UWN if people don't know about that organization. Well, first of all, I got to give all credit to my professional wrestling, not professional wrestling career to David Marquez. You know, he was one of the guys that really gave me an opportunity, put me in front of cameras, put me on TV, invested his money to give me, you know, a, a time block on his show, whether it was five minutes or 46 minutes, like the world title match, you know, which was the full episode of the show. Like, you know, he, he, he believed in me, you know, and the United Wrestling Network has been around for years. You know, it started up as championship wrestling from Hollywood. Um, you know, guys like Adam Pierce, Daniel Bryan, you know, Claudio, you know, uh, all these AJ Styles, so many guys, Scorpio Sky, the, the names go on and on of the amount of people that, that came through those doors, you know, and, and, and spent time under the David Marquez umbrella. And right now what we've been able to do as, as a team is, is really take it to the next level, more TV stations, more channels, more eyes on the product, bringing in new talent, you know, giving opportunities to the young and the hungry, bringing in guys that have been around forever to, 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 to create those stories with those new guys. We started Derby City Wrestling. I say we, but really, you know, David Marquez and his team. I'm, you know, I'm just the flag bearer right now. You know, Derby City Wrestling in Louisville, Kentucky. You know, he had championship wrestling from Memphis, championship wrestling from Atlanta. Like, you know, it was championship wrestling from Arizona. Just, just all over people just, you know, Marquez planting that flag in as many states as he could, as many TV channels as he could, to really just give us guys an opportunity. You know, um, he, he's I, – I really believe that the people that come through that, through that system are ready for TV. We understand where the cameras are. We understand what it means when that red light is on us. You know, I make, it a, I make it a point to get my face in front of every camera when I'm in the ring. You know, and, and I think that that's something that I learned from David Marquez is, is get your face on the camera, you know. Yeah, there's 500 people in the crowd, but really how many people are watching at home? You know, we look at the viewerships, and the show is getting, you know, 300 to 600,000 views a week easily, you know, and I think that that's important, you know, and I think that's important for numbers. I think that's important for the wrestlers to understand that when you're on this program, you know, you, you know you're being seen. You're being seen by a lot of people, and you get great footage because it's TV wrestling, and if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing and listening – you know, to what the producers, the agents, all that stuff is going on backstage, you know, you're going you're gonna to be okay at the end of the day. Um, and I think that, you know, for a while there was this joke of exposure bucks, but really if you really think about what those exposure bucks are, it's getting you seen, you know. Yeah, you know, Joe Schmo on the indie, you know, does a, a cool move and it goes viral on Twitter, but that's that's an eight-second clip out of a mm -hmm. maybe 15-minute match. What else is going on in those 15 minutes? You know, are they telling the story? Is the match actually making sense? Or they just get one little cool little look move in there and now people are talking about them. With this program, this TV show, you know, the United Wrestling Network, like you're being seen the right way for the right reasons by the right people. Um, so I'm proud to be part of the team first and foremost. You know, the Bodega's been there running the show since 2020. Um, and, and I'm proud, more importantly, to, to be the flag bearer, to be the face of the company, to be the world champion. You know, and, and just defend that, that, that brand, you know. And I, I always speak highly of it because I know what it's done for me in my career.